Hey, sports fans, welcome to week six of Tahoe Sportsline. We've got a new celebrity guest in the house and a new addition to the Lake Tahoe TV team. Louis, nice to see you. Thanks for having me. We'll see how you do. Some of our so-called experts haven't fared so well in this segment. And Coach McLaughlin, good to see you again. Some of us experts have fared well over the last couple of weeks. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First off, before we get going into our picks, local football still takes center stage. Truckee won their first game of the season by upending Sparks recently, 14 to six, while Incline was idle this week, and they do host Silver Stage this Friday. Coach, I think I'm the jinx to the South Lake Tahoe boys team. They lost again to Worcester, 35-25, 34-25, making them 0-6 on the season, mm. but it was a competitive game. So, hey, South Lake Tahoe, let's pull it together. I know you guys have what it takes. Yep, all right, and not only that, Wattel stays undefeated, routing Sierra Lutheran 50 to nothing. Hey, we've got a good prize this week for uh, Sportsline. All you have to do is pick 10 out of the 16 games. The person who picks the most wins, uh, wins a $25 gift certificate to Heavenly Sports. Last week's winner was Tom Monick, who's joining us for our VIP golf event this week over at Lake Tahoe Golf Course. Looking forward to getting out there and hitting that little white ball around into the water and the, and the beaches. Yeah, I play snowman golf. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right, our first game is going to be San Diego, which is giving up seven and a half points to the Raiders in Oakland. San Diego is a contender. Oakland is a pretender. Seven and a half. There needs to be a number of the number in front of the seven to be competitive. I'm going Chargers all the way. You guys are ridiculous. I don't know what you're going to pick, but I think San Diego is way overrated. They, don't have, they haven't played that many great teams this year. And Oakland's coming off a bye with a new coach, Tony Sperano. He's going to bring a solid mentality to that squad. I think they might pull up the upset. I'm going Oakland. So you're saying the Seattle Seahawks are not a good team? They beat them. Just checking, coach. Yeah, they beat them at home. Uh, They're Louis, not a good road team. You're from France, right? Yeah, I am. This is American football. I know, but you got to give me a chance to compete. <laughs> Chargers are on fire. Phillip Rivers, seven and a half points is a lot for any NFL game. I still like the Chargers odds on this one, even though they're playing in Oakland. I know, and it's always a divisional matchup, right? It's always close, seven and a half, too much. Well, we'll see. All right, the next game is a Sunday night game where Philadelphia is giving away two and a half points to New York in the Meadowlands. Philadelphia may have stubbed their toe against the 49ers. They're still four and one, most explosive offense in the NFL. Two and a half points isn't enough. I like Philly in this one. Most explosive offense, but about talk about that defense. That is horrendous. They've got injuries all over the field. Eli's Put it together. I mean, they've won three consecutive games, 30 plus points in each game. I think they're the better team. They've got the better defense. They're playing at home. They win that game. New York wins it all the way. Hey, Philadelphia's got a lot of holes on the defensive side of the ball. But who did New York beat? Uh, they beat some decent teams. Can you name one? I, I think Atlanta's <laughs> a good one. I would take the Eagles on this one, uh, not giving them many points. We'll have the last lap next week. Yeah, we will. Eagles over the Giants. All right, and then the Monday night game, big one for local fans. San Francisco is in St. Louis. St. Louis is getting three and a half points. That's not enough, folks. It's the Niners. They've turned their season around. The defense is back. Frank Gore is running the football. This team is set to roll. St. Louis is hurting, hurting for certain. Niners all the way, three and a half, not enough. Underdogs, going with St. Louis, picking. That's my upset pick of the week. You know, Coach, every week I bet on San Francisco. They win, but they don't cover the spread. I'm with the Niners again this week. This week they're going to cover. All right, then. All right, well, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Tahoe Sportsline. Stay tuned. Log on to our Facebook page. We'll see you next week.